Okay, so this is actually take two. Uh, today I'm going to try and show a video, video of how to set up CMTMS4 for Trains 2012 SP1 Hotfix 3. Um, of course, this does work with other versions of Trains. I'm not sure which earlier versions, but I do know it works with all versions of Trains 12. So you're going to need at least a few. You're going to need a few things. Uh, first thing you're going to need is uh, excuse me, is an HTML asset. It can be any sort of a, or a CMTMS HTML asset. You can take any existing CMTMS HTML asset and clone it and rename it to anything you want, and that's exactly what I've done here. You're going to want a notepad, uh, an untitled document, you know, a notepad, to kind of keep track of some things. Uh, I have just some a quick scramble of information there for myself. And you're going to need a route. Um, could be any route, any size. This is the you make switching urban switching module that I've slightly modified to make it look a little better. Um, keep saying um. First thing we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to make sure we're on the route layer. It really doesn't matter. You can do this on the session layer. We're gonna add our first track mark. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put that there. And we're gonna title it ECS one. No spaces, all cap. Very important. Highlight it, control C, hit OK, go back to our notepad, and put that there, or paste it there with control V. We're going to go back to our route, and I'm, yeah, I'm running in Windows. You can run it in, in full screen. I just prefer Windows, or windowed mode, because it's quicker to switch between the, uh, the, the, different, the different levels of tools I'll be using, like when I'm using Google Earth or Notepad or whatever. Um, next thing we're going to do, we're going to put another one. We're going to title this IND1. All caps, all one word. Control C, Control V. IND1. Now, you can title these anything you want. Uh, I, I recommend short names. Uh, so, does, so does DAP in his rule or his instruction manual. Yes, I'm putting these on top of uh, multiple industry news. These aren't the industry news aren't configured to work though, so it doesn't matter. We're gonna put another one down and title it Industry Two IND Two, and go back to our notepad. Hit Control V. So now we've got three track marks that we can use. Next thing we're gonna want is we're gonna want some rolling stock. Now. Um, Magicker, Magicker, whatever, however you pronounce it, he has tons of rolling stock that is CMTMS compatible. RGCX has tons of rolling stock that is CMTMS compatible. So that's where we're going to use, we're going to put down two cars, two box cars of RGCXs. And we're going to grab, I can get back up to it. There it is. One locomotive. Actually, ignore this part. Um, I actually had to reshoot this because I made a huge screw up. All right, now the next thing we're going to do, we've got our notepad. We're going to go to Content Manager, which you can have up and running while while all this is going. Close all those. Not needed. We're going to go to our HTML asset, and we're going to go to Edit, Edit and Explore. We're looking for the config. We open up the config, and it gives us this mess. What we're looking for, our first bit that we're going to make a change to, is right here where it says ECS Tracks. Now, if you look and see how I have my, my Windows kind of titled, titled like this, I can see the one notepad plus the config file. So I'm going to just look and read, and it says ECS1, good. If you had more ECS tracks, you could do ECS2 like that, but we only have the one for the moment, so we're only going to worry about that. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go down here to where it says local tracks. We're going to change this to IND1, IND2. Uh, we're going to leave destination check as a 1, although you could put it as a 0 like that. And now you don't have to deliver the car exactly to its spot. You can put it anywhere on the railroad. 
we're going to leave it as a 1 so we have to make sure the car gets exactly to where it needs to go. Print track mark, we're going to leave that as a 0. You can put it as a 1, and what it will do is it will print all of the track marks on the route to your trains diagnostic trains log file, and you can copy and paste them from there. That's another way you can do it. If you do it the method that I just showed, you don't have to worry about that. We're not going to worry about Numerex right this second. What we're going to do next is we're going to hit enter a couple of times, and we're going to get right into the meat of this. The first thing we need to type is CMTM0. Then we can hit tab a couple of times. Quotation mark. Uh, this is the first record. We're going to have this record be available to a car every day of the week. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If I can type 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven. There we go. I can type. This car if I do this right, it should be ECS one. It's for a box car. XB XB XGB. Why can't I type today? XBG. And its first destination is going to be IND1. That's our, our first little bit. Now, we're going to tell this car that it's going to be load. Am I doing this right? Yeah, I hate doing this, but i got to double check something. I don't think I'm doing this right. It never hurts to go back and di dissect one of your other things. You see us? Yeah, I'm doing that right. Oh, oh that's why, because i got to do two X's. That's why it's screwed up the first time. So we got to do two X's. Um, one X do donates the railroad, another do X donates the... or designates, not donates, uh, the train it needs to be on. That's what screwed me up last time. CMTMS can be... Uh, so its its first destination is going to be Industry 1. When it leaves ECS Track 1 and goes to Industry 1, the car is empty. The car is empty. It's not loaded with anything, so we put an X. And it needs to sit there for one hour. You can put up to 99 hours. We're not going to wait that long. We're going to just have it sit for one hour. Its next destination is going to be Industry 2. And the car is going to be loaded. And we don't care what the car is loaded with at this moment. And the car is going to be there for one hour. Its next destination is going to be ECS 1. It's going to be empty. E-M-P-T-Y, if I can spell right. We don't care what it's emptying. And it needs to be there for an hour. And quotation mark. Now we're going to make another one. This one's going to be a little more interesting. It's going to be CMTM 1. Tab over a couple times. Quotation mark. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But this car is not going to be available on day four. The record is not going to be available on day four. So we're going to put an X there and cross that out. Of course, like the first one, ECS1. It's a box, it's for a box car, so XBG. We don't care about the train, we don't care about the company. It's going to industry two. Empty, of course. We don't care what it's loading with. One hour. IND1, load, don't care what it's unload, what it's loaded with, one hour, back to ECS1, empty. D, one hour. Now, right here, right here, where it says load X, you can tell it what to load. You can tell CMTMS what to load. You have to have it, though, in the KUID table. So if you're going to use general goods or or, you know, grain or whatever. It has to be here. The name of it has to be here. And its KOID has to be here of the exact one you want. If you leave it at an X, it'll just pick anything random. If there's a space, General Goods normally is named General Goods with a space. If there's a space, you have to have the dash. We can just copy General Goods from here to right there. Now this car will load with General Goods. This one will get loaded with anything. Now we look at our number of records. We have two records, CMTM0, CMTM1. 
So we go up here to where it says num rex, and right here, we put a two. We can now save this, close that. I'm gonna minimize that. Normally you can close that and get rid of that. Today, view a main list, and we're gonna commit this, which is control M. That's Contains the wrong KUID. Edit. I didn't explore. What did I screw up? Oh, forgot quotation marks right there. Derp. Now, now it works. Or, well, now it's in the sim, we can also close out this file. Now we go back into our, our route and session. And I just realized I put these cars on the wrong layer. I can get rid of this, get rid of that, get rid of that. Go up here to the rules tab. Edit, we forgot a driver. We'll put me in there just because I'm awesome. Boom, boom. All right, we've got our driver. We're going to want to get rid of the quick drive rule. We're going to add. First one we're going to add is the CMTM for install rule. The next one we're going to add is the quick drive version 2. So that's the one we want. Oh, and if trains crashes, I'm going to be upset. There we go. Just hung up. And edit, cab mode. We're going to make it 10 a.m. on Monday. Everyone hates Monday, but whatever. No derailment mode. Okay, that's all good. Trains design like me recording and doing this. All right, we're going to go and edit our CMTMS rule. I'll show you doing that again. Click on that, click edit. Click to select. And now we're going to scroll down until we see our file that we just edited, which is easy cm 2 ms 4 Hit OK. Hit OK. Hit OK. Now we're going to go here. Now, now we've done that. We've closed everything out. Main menu. Save. Do not save session. Save. Yes. Then go up here. Save again. You do this to avoid trains having a hiccup when it tries to save both the route and the session. Save the session. And now we can click driver. It'll take a minute or two to load. While it's doing that, I'm going to check the current file size. It's not too big. Uh, quality isn't what I would like it to be, but whatever. We're just going to minimize that. And now our car movement system thingy comes up. Click on day one. And we click on this box car. And... Click to add record to vehicle. Boom. Boom. And now it's just a matter of running CMTMS. This will work. Everything is good. And everything is set up. We'll do another video probably in the next week or two showing some of the more advanced stuff like how to do car routing through yards, through trains, with the underscores. And I might even, if there's enough demand, I might even do one for CMTMS 3, which is a little more of an involved process. But I hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for watching, subscribe, all that good stuff.